All right, guys, what is going on? So it's a week later from the POV video. So here is the review of my 2018 Harley Davidson Lowrider. So I currently got the bike in the garage because it's raining outside right now, but I still wanted to get this review in. So here, here it is. Um, I've had this bike since May. It's now October, and I bought it in Connecticut with my friend. I had a, I had two bikes before this, so this is my third bike. I've had uh, 1200 Iron, and then I had a 300 Rebel. This is my favorite bike out of all of them, obviously. This is from a perspective of somebody that hasn't really rode very much and doesn't really know an insane amount about bikes. So I'm kind of just giving you the information that I know and my personal experience riding this bike and the ones that I've had before. But overall, I really do enjoy this bike. I wouldn't sell it. The only reason why I would sell it is to, I guess, have that money in order to get a diesel so that I can pull my Mustang to different race events and stuff. But we'll see, I'm still kind of deciding. I do have it listed right now in the marketplace and stuff, but nobody has hit me up about it yet, which it's probably because it's now October and I'm sure nobody's really like looking to buy a bike right now, especially like for the price that I want for it. Cause honestly, I just want to break even on the bike. If I break even, I'll be pretty happy. But I did enjoy it a lot. I'm gonna be sad to get rid of it and I probably will end up being like, oh man, I want another one. But as of right now, everything is completely stock on the bike. I bought it just how it is from the Harley dealership in Connecticut. I probably won't change really anything besides the exhaust. If I do change that, we'll start this off with a quick little walk around. Get a quick little view of the bike. So before I start like reviewing it from my perspective, I just wanted to, I guess, give you a little backstory about this bike. So I actually went and picked it up with my friend uh, from Connecticut. I'm currently in New Jersey, so we drove about four hours. I rented a trailer, put my iron 1200 on that back because I wanted to trade it in for this. And then drove the four hours, got the bike, and then he ended up picking up a bike as well. And yeah, so I've had the bike since May, like I said. It's now October. It's bought it with 950 miles and it's got like 1300 now. So I put a little bit of miles on it, not as much as I wanted it to ride, but you know, still a lot of fun. Just to get into it a little more too. Uh, I've eyed this bike like since I had my Rebel. Like I know I wanted to upgrade to a Harley, but I just was like, I went to a Harley deer just to look, saw this bike, fell in love with it, uh, especially in this blue color because they only made it for this one year but I ended up not getting it because I'm a short guy, I'm like 5'3", and I just was like, the bike is just too big for me. And I was just too intimidated to like make that jump. So then I just kind of stopped really looking, and then one day I just decided to go to a Harley dealer again, and I saw the Iron 1200, and I was told that I can get the Freedom's Promise, so I can just come back next year, trade it in, and basically get everything that I paid for the bike back, and then trade it towards a new one. So I was like, all right, cool, I'll go back and get this bike when I feel more comfortable riding. And then they discontinued the bike for that year. And then they didn't have any used ones because the market's just so hot with everything. And I just had to keep looking around and I eventually found one. They gave me basically what I wanted and almost everything that I paid for my other bike. So I, lo I didn't really lose anything, I guess, because I drove it a lot. And I said, you know what? I'm going to get the bike that I want and I'm going to just keep it. So here we are. We got the bike. I guess to get into a little bit more. So I haven't been riding that long. Maybe, so I only rode last season and this season, so really only like a year. So I'm not the most experienced. I can tell you what I know, but I don't know everything. So honestly, I'm gonna read a list of all the specs of this bike. And then I guess just tell you like my thoughts and stuff about this bike. All right, so going through the list. So like I said, this is a 2018 Harley Davidson Lowrider. This is in the electric blue. They only made it for the 2018. It's got the Milwaukee 8 107 V-Twin engine. It's 107 cubic inch. The bore and stroke 3.937 by 4.375. Maximum torque 110 feet pounds of torque at 3000 RPMs. Compression ratio 1001 to one. Valve train, it's a single cam. Exhaust two into one into two. Cooling, air and oil. Transmission six speed. Primary drive chain, final drive belt. 
the wheels are cast aluminum. The front tire is a 110 by 90 by 19 Michelin short Scorcher, 31 inch. Rear tire is a 180 by 70 by 16 Michelin Scorcher, 31. Front brakes, disc with four piston calipers. Rear brake disc, you can get ABS, mine doesn't have that. The wheelbase, 64.2 inches. Rack, 30 degrees. Trail, 6.4 inches. Seat height, 27.2 inches. It's got a five gallon fuel tank. Estimated fuel consumption, 47 MPG. Curb weight, 661 pounds. And the MSRP for this color was $15,399. And if you just wanted black, it was 15,000. So I know anybody can kind of just look up those specs, but I just kind of wanted to read them off real quick. And then I guess get into like how I feel about this bike. So compared to my iron, it's definitely a big upgrade. I feel like just the overall ride quality is just so much better. My iron honestly rode pretty stiff. If you rode it for more than I would say like 30 minutes, it started to got, it really started to get uncomfortable. This bike's definitely a lot more comfortable. The only thing that I wish I can change is probably getting risers for my bars since I'm short and I have short arms, like just sitting back and stuff, like I feel like I have to reach a lot. Uh, we moved them back a little bit when I bought the bike. Helped a, it helped a lot, but it really does need to come back more. Other things I really enjoyed about this bike, I guess, honestly, just the little things like the key. Like my other bike didn't have a fob like this. It was all like, you know, you had to use a key. Just having the fob is kind of cool because now that it's right here. So this is only here just to lock your bars. But you can just keep your fob like in your pocket and you can literally turn your bike on. So just come over here and turn it on. And I can literally do everything from there just with the fob. So that's pretty cool to me. Um, it's got an LED light. Those are pretty bright. My other one did not have that. Like my, I guess, warning system for security, which it doesn't beep or anything. It just does that. So I guess, like I said, it's got the 107. Beautiful engine. I love the chrome look on these bikes. That was like the biggest thing that drew me into this bike. I know a lot of guys my age, because I'm only like 22, everyone likes the blacked out stuff. That's how my iron was, and I didn't care for it. This is just like a classic looking Harley to me. So that was like the biggest thing for me. Uh, I was also really intimidated about the weight. And honestly, like it's really not that heavy. Like it doesn't feel that heavy when you're riding the bike. And it honestly, having a, I guess a heavier bike compared to my other ones, since I, Literally had a 300 and then I had a 1200. Those are a lot lighter than this bike. And this bike rides a hell of a lot better because it's heavier. All right, I just wanna go over like, I guess all the controls and stuff that this thing has and like what it has. So pretty basic, your turn signals on both. You just press them in. What's cool about this, my other, my first bike never did this, but if you hit the turn signal and you make the turn, it'll automatically shut off so you don't have to hit it again. That was something I'd always forget to do when I first started riding on my other bike because you don't hear them and you know they could just keep blinking and you don't know sometimes unless you're like looking at it um, your horn then you got this is to cycle through all the things on here like all your information your high beams you can flash them real quick your kill switch this is to start your motor your hazards and then obviously your other turn signal then you got your mirrors clutch, your brake, your gear selector, your brake, and yeah, then you have your RPMs, and then your odometer and stuff, so I'll cycle through that stuff real quick to show you, so this one tells you your fuel, uh, I got thir uh, 1330 miles, so you just cycle through it with this like I said, your trip meter, your other trip, your reserve tank, so how much miles you got left, so you need fuel, time, so mine's not set. And that's it, so pretty basic, but you know, definitely a lot nicer than my other one. Just having like, just the fuel gauge alone. I know it does, it's not really a big deal to a lot of people, but you know, I like that. I like being able to look and being like, all right, I got this much fuel left, especially going on longer rides and stuff. Your fuel, this one's a dummy one, so it doesn't do anything. Which one issue I've had, which I was kind of really annoyed about, is uh, every once in a while, I guess when the tank is low, 
it'll start to make like a really aggressive like vibrating sound. I was told it's just a Harley thing, but I spent a lot of money on this bike. Like I don't want a vibrating sound coming from it. Like I, this bike literally costs as much as a car. So it's insane to me that this little piece has to like make an aggressive noise and I have to deal with that. But besides that, I love the bike. Great bike. Rides awesome compared to my other one. My other one was a very stiff riding bike. This thing is just very soft riding and just feels so smooth. And having that bigger engine, it seems intimidating, but it's really not. It, at least like to me, it's not compared to my other one. Like I just feel like it just feels a lot smoother, like riding on the highway and stuff. It just doesn't, my other bike, I'd hit maybe 65, 70, and you'd really feel it start to like shake a lot and stuff, and I just didn't really like that. Whereas this one now, I guess with the six speed and the bigger motor, it can kinda, it can handle that a lot better, and you won't really feel that aggressive, like shake and stuff anymore. It just, it's so smooth, I love it. And also if I end up having somebody else on the back of the bike, it'd be a lot more comfortable having, you know, a bigger bike. And I also really wanted something that wasn't like, I like the sleek look, I guess. I don't really like the thing, like bikes with bags and like really heavy looking bikes. Like to me, it's too much, especially because for me, I'm riding this to work or just kind of like taking it out on a nice day, going somewhere. Like I didn't really want something really big. I wanted something that's like nice size. I really like the look of it and stuff and I can like enjoy it. The only thing I don't really like is that my garage is super small, as you can tell. And I have my car in here, so I have to like park this bike like right here. It's a pain in the ass to get it in and out, so that's kind of why I haven't really gotten to enjoy it so much this year. I'll use a clip from another video to sh like show you the exhaust. I don't want to start it right now, my roommate's sleeping. But yeah, so this is the bike. Super nice, super fun. Definitely recommend. Another big thing I didn't get into is a lot of people want that 114. That's like what's in the new low riders. But honestly, I feel like the 107 is like perfectly fine. It's been around for a while. It's a great engine. You know, I haven't had any issues with it personally. And like, I feel like there's plenty of power to it. A lot of people will argue that the new 114 has a lot more torque, which it's got like 120 pounds feet of torque, I believe. But honestly, I feel like this is enough and you know you can just start doing things to it to make more power if that's really what you want but I don't know for me I feel like it's perfectly fine like I can nail the throttle and like I have plenty of power on hand so to me not worth it I like this a lot more I like the look a lot more but I guess it's all preference that's the whole point of buying stuff like this you know to enjoy it definitely enjoyed it I hope you guys enjoyed this video I know this is from kind of like a new perspective I don't know too much. I'm just kind of telling you the specs and my personal feelings about the bike. Definitely a lot of fun. Really enjoyed the bike. You know, I would totally recommend you get one of these. Definitely a lot of fun. Definitely looks awesome. Got a lot of compliments on it. But I hope you guys check out my POV video if you haven't seen that. Definitely cool just to like watch, hear, hear it run and stuff. And I guess show you the power a little bit because I got on it a little bit. But if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also subscribe to my channel, leave a comment, engage with this video. It definitely helps promote it more. Helps promote my other stuff more. But I appreciate it, everyone. See you later.